what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh yeah it's been a while i tried streaming played games recorded um that was fun but i kind of stopped it was just kind of hard to stay, stay consistent on that and now today is memorial day so happy memorial day i am off today i wanted to make a video showing you guys my new daily if you guys been following my instagram i actually sold my white tsx my 2007 white tsx the reason why i sold that is because it was automatic and i was at the time where like i missed driving manual so i was looking around i was thinking about getting an fa5 thinking about getting a like a fit or something just anything that was like manual and something that i could kind of like mess around with here and there and has like a lot of aftermarket support and i ended up selling that white one i sold it as is i sold it on the um 18 by seven half ssr type f's function form type twos your r front lip and a mugen grill and it's i sold it back to my friend which i bought the car from pretty much bought the car back from me after two three years i, I think three years and it just the only difference was different wheels coilovers and it's got lowered and all that so i got rid of that i missed that one because white with black interior is one of the hardest colors or like color combination to find mine is red and black but red always turns pink on the tsx's and a lot of you guys that own them or seen them on the road know that ended up picking up another tsx because one is it's my friend's old car that sold it to somebody else that lives up here and the guy barely drove it and then he ended up posting it up for sale and i picked it up and they got for a really, really good deal, especially with all the stuff that came on it. And it pretty much came the same way that my friend sold it to him, almost. But I think my friend had like a Mugen grill and a couple things. But anyways, voila. I picked up another... Oh, is this overexposed? There we go. I picked up another Acura TSX. So the only difference between this one and the white one that, that I had... This is a 2006, so it is different. The ECUs are different. I know on the 07, 08, you can actually use Hondata on it, like flash pro and stuff. So this one, you need to use like a 07, 08 to put Hondata. Um, the only difference, or let's see. So I pretty much got the car as is. Uh, mine's a couple things. I've already done a couple things to it, um, but it did come with the C28s which i am extremely happy about they're 18 8 and a half plus 30 so they're a little bit better spec it did come with a carbon hood with vents of vis one but i think what happened was the guy that bought the car he didn't quick latch it all the way and the hood flipped up on him and it kind of ruined the hinges on this especially the hinge is messed up and then the window got like cracked because of the carbon fiber you know hood flew up on him that I already knew well that i found out later but i kind of figured it out because i was like why is the hood kind of like not seating properly or like flush but it just needs new hood hinges and this hood right here okay so i'll be honest with you guys the paint on this car is not the best okay versus like my hatch and my white one but what the car came with like especially for the price i got the car i couldn't complain um a new trunk i need a new trunk so you see how this color is known for paint cancer, especially if you don't take care of it. And there's like a couple of dings in the trunk. Um, the roof, of course. And then this hood I got for, on Craigslist for uh, 80 bucks. It's not the best, there's like ding, dings here and there. But it just cause I didn't want to run that carbon hood that came with it because the spot where the um, bolts go on for the latches, the hood hinges i mean one of them were like ripped out because it's fiberglass so i'm gonna get that repaired and throw it back on because the paint on that one's a lot better and just run the quick latches again but for now i decided to put the oem hood back on well this one that i got for on craigslist and this hella swirls in this paint but yeah this is just for now see not the best hood and then right here you can tell that the hood hinge got bent because it's not seeing flush and then there's a crack on them what showed up there because the carbon hood flew up on him. Um, so this is just for me, you know, on the safe side. Let's see. Okay, so what the car came with is literally uh, Ur headlights, an OEM Ur front lip. These are getting really, really pricey if you guys don't um, own a TSX. And I feel like now a lot of people are hopping on TSXs because EKs and DCs or Integra EGs are way too expensive now. And these, um, they're definitely going up in price because. This is kind of like that new, the new EK, new Integra that's coming out, or not coming out, but you guys know what I'm saying? Like, it's not affordable, so now the TSX, FE5, RSX is 
that new EK chassis for kids to mess with. And the reason why I ended up getting another T-Sex is because these are kind of built the same as an EK and an Integra because this has the McPherson's like setup. So suspension setup is completely like almost the same as the rear. I know the rear has like toe arms like or different arms in the back, but it has, it just handles super good. It handles really well versus my white one. I mean, of course, of course, because not slammed and it just came with better shit than my white one. So anyways, back to what it is. It came with the URR, OEM URR front lip, URR front headlights. I like the other ones I had. Oh, sorry about the wind noise. It came with the, what was it? OEM URR rear lip. This is the 0608. So on my white one, I had an 0405. And the 0405 is more flat, but these have like little, like has lines in it, body lines. Um, so it came with that rear lip. It came with the C20s, of course. So three of them are silver, one's painted silver because when my friend owned the car, if I remember, he bought a full set of C28s, but one was like smashed or something. So he ended up sourcing out a pair of 18 by 8.5 plus 30, so same specs. And then I guess it wasn't the correct color, so he painted it silver. And that's one reason why it um, is kind of off color, but I'm not tripping, I could get it refinished. The wheels are perfectly fine. Let's see, what else did it come with? Oh, came with the uh, Mugen visors, which my other car didn't have. So that's cool. And I hate these visors. If you guys don't know, a lot of OEM visors, they kind of have that like swirls and stuff if you uh, don't take care of them properly. And what I do know is a lot of people do compound these visors and you don't want to. You just want to wash them with soap and that's it. If you compound them, they start doling. And that's what happened to my brothers at EK and, this, and my old visors I used to have back then on my EK, uh, my coupe. Uh, but yeah, I came with visors. Interior. The only thing I don't like about the interior is it came with this. It came with this double din contraption made by Scorch or whatever it's called. The cool thing I like about it is the AC unit works really well. All the buttons work because throughout time on TSXs, the buttons they start messing up the radio. And it did come with a nice Alpine deck which has Apple CarPlay which is super cool. Um, but I just hate how it bulges out. Whatever. It came with the car. Can't complain. Um, it came with seal 9 seal 7 you're our front seats so my friend used to have the rears on this car but what happened was the car got stolen a while back and then they took the rear seats and then they took out the passenger seat but the guy that bought the car from him ended up finding a replacement front passenger seat and then the driver's seat was still there um this currently has a k2 shifter uh, i got this well the car came with the oem shifter but i got this shifter for mad cheap and I couldn't complain. Uh, thanks, Rob. And then also, it was missing this piece, or missing the, uh, you know, the portion for your shift knob. So I used a like a cheap one for like at the time being. It was like down here. It's like a random K-tune one. But then this is the correct like width diameter. So I got this, but I need to cut it because this thing's way too tall. It's like I don't know. This is a lot of slop in the shifter, and it still is using OEM shifter cables, but whatever. And I did uh, buy a uh, spoon shift knob, and it did not come with this. It came with a factory steering wheel. Um, so I did a kind of like a budget energy setup. So this is an energy with a quick release, but also this is a spoon steering wheel. The only difference, this is a 340. A lot of the Monte Carlos that you can buy with red stitching, they're 350s. And the reason why I got this was because I kind of like a 340, 330. And my, at the time, I was thinking about getting a Nardi, but I was like, you know what? I'm not sure how far this is going to stick out and sit. So I ended up getting a spoon steering wheel. I got this used, but it was new. And then it, it has a horn button, but I sold the horn button because I wasn't going to run the spoon horn button because it doesn't work with this quick release, especially uh, later on for my setup. But this is a spoon wheel, just the 340 uh, with thread stitching. And yeah, oh, there's nothing here. I don't want to show you. I got, I got it. I got duck here. But uh, yeah, and then the rear seats, common, common issues on TSXs, you guys don't know. TSXs with leather interior, it's the worst. Um, I'm looking for these rear seats right now. I found a set, but they're a little bit too pricey at the moment, so I'm going to wait till I find a different set. And then also, do you want new door panels? Because they are kind of like banged up up here. Uh, you guys could kind of see they're like, it's, it's like crusty. Yeah, but... That's easily uh, fixable. Um, but yeah, I might throw in a uh, 
I want a hybrid shifter. The K2 is very, very sloppy. I don't know if it's just me, but even with the shorter uh, lever, it was, it was sloppy, but whatever. Let's see, what's that do to the car? Oh yeah, so when I got the car, um, it was like, it was pretty raised up. So I ended up lowering it more because, come on guys, fitment is key, right? So I lowered it more all around. So that's where it sits right now. And then the rears. This thing does need front camera kits. It doesn't have front camera kits, so it is running on natural camera right now. And it kind of like sits out too much. Uh, it's too much positive camera, and I want a little bit more negative camera. As you guys can see, it's super flush. It doesn't rub perfectly fine. It just rubbed me the fender liner. This car still has fender liner all around. Um, oh, it's suspension. So this car came with uh, BC Racing coilovers, but it came with the upgraded version where you could put Swiss springs on it. So it has BC, I don't think they're BRs because I was looking at them, it doesn't have that BR label on them or the sticker, I don't know. I never owned a set of BCs, so this is my first set of BCs. It came with the Swiss springs upgrade, which I believe, well I didn't really look at it. If I'm correct, I think the fronts are 14K and the rears are 10K. This car is pretty stiff. And right now I have the dampening set really, really low. And in, I mean, minus it being stiff, the car like on the highway or just in general, not on a, like a bumpy road feels really, really nice. And hitting like this on ramps and stuff on this car, it feels really good. Um, so I'm pretty impressed by BCs. Well, mainly part of the Swiss rings though. But uh, it came with good ridge stainless steel brake lines all around. I don't know if my old friend Manny put them on the car or if the new owner did or I, I don't know but yeah it came with that one thing I did upgrade on the exterior minus the janky hood is I did the Acura TL Type S caliper upgrade so if you guys don't know the 07 08 TL Type S come with factory brembles and a lot of people end up doing the Acura RL caliper conversion for these cars the reason why I didn't do that is because one, it's more expensive because you need the Acura RL calipers. You need a bracket um, from like, I forgot what company, but I didn't really d look into it, but you need a bracket to mount the calipers too because of how they mount and you need rotors and pads, right? Now this setup, all you have to do, wait, can you guys see this? Yeah, you guys can. Sorry, I don't have my other camera. I'm using my G7X. But all you have to do is get Acura TL Type S calipers, modify the spindles as in drill out the spindles or the bolt caliper hole um, on these to fit this diameter because these do use a bigger bolt. Um, so I brought brand new uh, OEM bolts from Acura and then drilled it out and then they bolt directly up. And this rotor right here, I've tried a lot of methods. I've heard that you can use TL Type S rotors on the front with these calipers so you know you have the matching rotor and the caliper but it doesn't see it doesn't have like um the correct back spacing so when you put the TL type s rotors with these calipers on this uh knuckle setup on t6x it doesn't sit centered within the caliper so what you have to do is either run a custom spacer on the back with extended studs on the rotor or get custom hubs by like machining down or machining down the, the hub or something like that an alternative is using sc 2000 rotors so these are actually SC1000 front rotors with TL Type S OEM Brembles. Only issue is the pad doesn't seat properly as in like the pad's too big and the rotor's a little bit smaller by like, a, I don't know, super, super like mils, I guess. The bite on the calipers or on the pads, they, the pads they normally sit like up here. But SC1000 rotor is down here. So all you, all you have to do is uh, get TL Type S Brembo pads, shave down the pad a bit, and it'll completely have the full bite. Even if you don't shave it down, a fully bite is just when you take off your pad, it's gonna have that extra pad, you know, that's not being um, used. But it bolts straight up. You wanna use S1000 rotors because you don't have to use any spacers, any adapters, nothing. You just put it up, put the caliper on, and it sits centered. And voila! And it's a huge upgrade, I'll admit. Uh, from the factory ones. I do want to repaint them black because they are kind of faded. But at the same time, um, I want to put the Brembo decals 
I don't know. Or I just leave it like this, to be honest. It's kind of a sleeper, you know, like low key. You don't know that it came with Brembles. But I mean, this car doesn't come with the Brembles, the TO Type S did. So that's how I got it to mount. And yeah, I did tips on my t -Sex. I didn't want to do full exhaust because I know these get really, really droney. And as a daily, I kind of just want it to kind of be like, you know, just chill. Oh, and I did a Dengu Takeshi for the plate frames. Voila! It is literally just two N1 tips. So roll, roll tips. So it kind of mimics a spoon N1, but that's what it looks like. I, I, I love it. I kind of wish uh, N1 still made an exhaust for this car, especially dual. Um, a lot of people do single, but I think dual, it just fits the lip more unless you kind of like, what is it called? You trim the rear as in like, fill in this portion. So you just run single exit, but I don't know. And it's not that loud, pretty quiet. Oh, I did, um, I did replace the, the slave and the master on this car because it was kind of going, it was like bad. Pretty quiet. So, yeah. Nothing fancy. I don't know. There's something about this. There's something about T-Sexes. I love T-Sexes because it is the body line. I actually want to get this car painted. I'm going to get it repainted the same color though as the factory color. Um, let's see if I can actually go for a little drive like this. No guarantee that the camera is going to stay there because this car is pretty stiff. I'm trying to get out of here. This is some random parking lot I found. Yeah, I, I miss driving manual. That's one reason why I had to get another car. And I guess uh, getting a uh, manual T-Sex, so it was kind of the move. Oof, hopefully you guys can hear that. Uh, yeah, it's not that, uh, it's not that loud, but. Oh, shit, the camera. shifter I don't like it I need to get hybrid um, and then spoon steering wheel and then energy hub energy quick release because you know just just cuz I'm gonna be moving soon with a garage so I'm gonna have a two-car garage a closed garage and we are gonna be working on this car content for now I think I'm gonna do content like this I don't know if you guys want to see cruising videos but uh, yeah that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I'll be moving in a month and a half. So yeah, peace out guys. I miss making a video like this. Like, uh, car videos. Like, just, uh, yeah. So peace out guys, don't listen to others. Just keep building. And I am sorry for not uploading, but let's get back to it. I'll probably do in-car videos and then just give me a topic or something, say something. Or you guys, whatever you guys want me to talk about, I'll do it. And then I need to get a mount for this, but I also need my other camera because I don't know how the mic is on this, like in car.